Hi, I'm Natalie Eco, and this is a high intensity interval training workout that we're gonna do today. Be ready, make sure you have water and a towel because I promise you, you're gonna need it. I know I will too. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a dynamic warm up. What that's gonna do, it's gonna warm up your muscles and your joints to prepare you for the workout that you have coming, okay? Static stretching is better, but maybe for the end, not at the beginning, okay? So let's get to it first. We're gonna do your usual jumping jack, all right? Arms all the way up, open up those legs. Really, really important, you guys, that you warm up prior to, okay? Because we don't wanna get you injured. You wanna prevent injury, and this is gonna get the heart rate up and get you nice and warm. All right, let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, same thing, but we're gonna bring our arms out right here to open up your chest and shoulders. This is one of my favorite moves. Yes. Let's pick up the pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna be working our hamstrings, so it's really important that we get those uh, ready to go. All right, so you can just go here, reaching up, all right. Good. And if you want, you can just reach. Try to kick your hand. Good. Keep breathing. You want to get your muscles warm, your joints warm. Give me four, three, two, last one. All right. Now we're going to warm up the hamstrings. Stretch out the quads by doing some butt kickers. All right. So literally, try to kick your heels to your butt. Not just here, all the way up. Because that's gonna stretch out the quad and engage the hamstring, okay? Keep going. If you want, <laughs> you can add some arms. However, right here, that's fine. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, open up your stance, hands on your hips, push your butt back. Bring it forward. Good. Take it to your right and your left. Feel that in your inner thighs. You're also warming up your glutes. Keep breathing. You should feel like your heart rate's coming up just a little bit, right? Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Okay, I find it really crucial to also get your hips ready. All right, so let's go ahead and step back with your left foot and rotate towards your knee. Okay, step back, rotate towards that left knee. You should feel that really opening up the hips because we do all that forward moving. This gets really tight. Good, keep breathing. Give me eight, seven, we're gonna do six more, and then we're gonna start our workout, you guys, okay? I got a lot of good stuff coming up for you, so be ready. Last two, right. last one. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. All right, let's get to it. What we're gonna do today is a descending ladder. So we have five moves. Each move is gonna be full body. And what you're gonna do is first 60 seconds for every move, then you can break, 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna be right there with you, so don't worry about it. I will help you out to help you along through this workout because it's challenging, but you know what? Not only during this workout are you burning calories, but you're burning calories for up to 72 hours. That's why it's much better than getting on the elliptical with your magazine, I promise you. If you wanna be fit, you wanna be healthy, you wanna be lean, this is the kind of workout you need to do. All right, so you guys ready to get started? The first workout we're gonna do is called a rock and roll to a burpee. It's two of my favorite moves. Well, actually, I don't know about the burpee, but I do like these two combined together. It's a lot of fun. And I will show you a regression and a progression. So that means I'm gonna make it something that you can modify or to make more challenging. You don't need anything but your body on this one right now, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start our first minute with the first workout. You guys ready? Let's do it. Rock and roll to a burpee. You're gonna come back here, you're working your core. Come up, and you're gonna drop back and two burpee. All right, if you need help with that first move, you use your hands, cross your ankles, and that's gonna help. But you know what? You'll get to a point where you won't need that help. 
So I'm gonna do it without the cross. Up, you're working core. If you don't wanna do a full burpee, that's fine, okay? Keep it going, you guys. We're on the clock. I want you to burn those calories, work that body. I want you to be fit and lean. How you doing? No, no water yet, hang on. Don't stop, not yet. I want water too, but you gotta wait. We just got started. Woo. Keep breathing. You're looking good. Really proud of you guys. Almost there, I promise. One more. Whoa. Woo. All right, so I think I need to breathe on that one. How do you feel? All right, let's grab some dumbbells. The next move is a deadlift to a surrender, okay? So hamstrings, you always wanna work full body, okay? Don't forget, to you don't wanna neglect the muscles that you don't see in front of you, okay? So this one, let's stand in front of your mat. Sit back into your heels. Uh -huh, we're gonna start now, one minute. Squeeze at the top, kneel down, up, and then deadlift. Kneel down, and then back up. Just keep doing that. All right, push back into your heels. You want your back straight. It should be flat, never rounded. You're focusing on the back of your legs, and then squeeze your butt. So if I show you from the side, it looks like this. Push back, kneel down, and up. If you wanna make it more challenging, you should use heavier weight. Don't be afraid of heavy weight, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> because what happens is when you neglect that, you get skinny fat. Mm, that's not cute, I'm sorry, I don't like that. Not personally. Woo. Feeling good. Feeling good, squeeze the glutes. Good. Keep it going. We're almost there. Last one, and good, okay. So on this one, a little bit more challenging core and back. Let's take you down to the floor. We're gonna start on a minute. It looks like this. You're in a plank on your hands. You're gonna drag your dumbbell behind you, crawl back, drag it again, flip around, and do the same thing on that side, all right? We're gonna start our, min we're our one minute. Now, here we go. Keep those abs tight. Good, flip it around, and drag. Take it back, flip it around again. So this is definitely working your core and your lats, your shoulders, and your cardio. For sure your heart rate should be up, right? Keep it going. We're not breaking yet, you guys. You can do this, okay? I know you can. It's all about being tough mentally. Now, if you want to make this more challenging, grab a heavier dumbbell. If you need to modify, you can always take it down to your knees and drag it back that way. Okay, keep it going, you guys. I know you got this. Shoulders above your wrists. Keep that form. Abs engaged, you got this. We're almost there. Give me one more on this side. Excellent, okay, good job. Woo, right? All right, our next move is gonna be a bear hop to break dancer. No weights on this one. This one's definitely challenging. Okay, so you're gonna come down. I'm gonna show you on all fours. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop from one side to the other. So if I face front, it looks like this. Hop from one side to the next. Kick your left leg out, take it back. Right leg out, take it back, okay? Are you ready to start that minute? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> all right, let's do this, you guys. Here we go. Hop to your right. Pop to your left, left leg out, bring it back, and switch, good, again. Hop to your right, hop to your left, left leg out, take it back, right leg. You think you could become a break dancer after this? <laughs> Maybe so, huh? Woo, definitely core, definitely shoulders, definitely chest, definitely challenging. Keep it going, you guys. And don't forget to breathe, because that's gonna help you get the workout. We get sweat after this. We're almost down for break. 
Good. Getting closer. Right. Keep it going. Don't stop, you guys. Give me two more. One more. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, so our last move is gonna work the obliques, abs, coming down onto your elbows. You're gonna go into a plank, flip over, give me a hip dip, and then the other side, hip dip. All right, ready? Let's start that minute. Hold it, dip, back to center, dip. If you wanna make it more challenging, come up to your hands and then do it this way. Just make sure that you keep your wrist underneath your shoulder, okay? And then notice my feet are staggered. Keep those abs tight. Are you staying with me? We're almost there, almost ready for our first break, you guys. Working those obliques, summertime, when you wanna have those tight abs. Looking good, keep it going, you guys. Really focus on engaging those abs. You got this, okay? Breathe, keep it nice and tight. Planks work your abs really well by making those abs tighter and flat. Last second, good job, okay. All right, so you guys, we did every move for 60 seconds, okay? Take a few seconds to breathe, then we're gonna repeat every move for 50 seconds, okay? All right, so what I want you to think about is any moves that you did, if it felt a little easy, then challenge yourself by lifting up heavier weight or moving up to a higher position in that move that you're in. Or if you need to regress, that's fine. Okay, just keep it moving. All right, got that water, towel it off a little bit. You ready for round two? 50 seconds each move, you guys, ready? Rock and roll to a burpee. Ready to start, 50 seconds? Let's go now. Looking good, you guys. Remember, if you have to modify, use your hands, cross your ankles. Okay? And if you don't want to add the hop at the top, that's okay too. Just stand up, keep moving. Stand up, up, down to the burpee. If you need to modify, Cross your ankles, use your hands, come up to the burpee, and then just kick it back, and then repeat, okay? So you don't always have to add a hop. You can use your hands for support. All right, and time. Woo, next move, you guys. All right, here we go. Grab your dumbbells, deadlift to surrender. All right, stand in front of your mat. Ready, minute now, go. Push back, squeeze the butt. Step down with your right leg, up, and sit it back. Really focus on squeezing those glutes. Left leg, and up. Good. Nice. You guys look great right now. I want you to get the focus on your hamstrings and your glutes, again, and your back. Good job. Probably about halfway there. So you're gonna be burning more calories after this is done. Your body will love you for this. You know why? Because you're not gonna be the first one if you go hiking to stop. You're not gonna be the first one to quit. You don't wanna ever quit. Last one here. Good job, okay you guys. Let's go ahead and grab one dumbbell. We're gonna do the plank switch and drag, all right? 50 seconds, ready? Let's do it. You're on the clock. Whew. Just focus on being fit, on being lean. Strength is really important. Strength is sexy. You have one body, so take care of it. What are you doing to take care of it? What are you doing for you? What are you doing to be fit? Keep going, you guys, come on, you got this. You can do it. Just a few more. Really engage. Drag that dumbbell. Squeeze those lats. Keep it going. 
working that core. A lot of core work here. So when you use more muscles at once, like we're doing, you burn more calories. Last one. Good job. Okay, so now we're moving on to that bear hop that we really, really love. All right, 50 seconds. <sighs> okay, we can do it, right? Let's begin the clock. Here we go, 50 seconds. To the right, to the left. Kick that left leg out, switch. Other side, take it back. Again, remember if you can't hop, there's a way to modify, I'll show you that. So instead, you'll just walk it over. There's always a way to modify, so you never have to stop, okay? So even if you just get really tired, you don't have to quit. Because just think about all those calories you're burning, you guys. Try to keep smiling. <laughs> Woo. Keep breathing. This might look kind of easy, but if you're doing it, you know it's not. You know it's not. Oh my goodness. Ah, keep it going, we're almost there. Give me one more. Kick it out. Kick it out. Oh my God. I do want to break right there, but you know what? We have another thing to do. Side planks, remember? All right, starting to plank first. You ready for the clock? 50 seconds, here we go. Switch, down, up. Middle, down, up. Really focusing on getting that range of motion. That's where it counts, okay? <sighs> Keep breathing, you guys. What that's doing, that's working your obliques right here, okay? So the more range of motion you get, the deeper you get into that move, the more muscle you'll be working, okay? So keep doing that. I'm right here with you. <sighs> okay? Keep it going, you guys. If you have to hold static, Without the dip, you can do that as well. You gotta start somewhere. We're almost there. And hold it. Oh, good job, you guys. Nice. All right, so let's take a little break. I'm so proud of you. We just did 60 seconds each and then 50. Oh my gosh, we're getting half, we are halfway there actually. So now we're gonna do each move for 40 seconds. I'm not saying it's much easier because now you're more fatigued, but it's a shorter time, all right? Back to the top, here we go. Rock and roll to the burpee, you guys ready? All right, I'm laughing because I'm tired. Here we go. Back, up, and then take it down. Remember your modifications. Cross the ankles, use your hands. Step it back. Here we go. Woo. Up. I just think about being fit, being able to do things that the average person can't do. What you want to do is strive to be stronger, strive to be fit. Don't just think about how you look. Woo. Getting those abs tight. Let's do one more. Keep it going. Ah, finish it. Yes, good job. All right, grab your dumbbells. Let's work those hamstrings again and those glutes. All right, feet about shoulder width apart. Push back the little heels. Squeeze. Lunge down with your right and then up. Sit back. Make sure those, uh, that back should be flat, you guys. Don't round it, okay? Really important. Form is very important. Uh, good. Because we don't want to be injured. We want to be fit. Sit back in those heels. Squeeze. Now, some people have better flexibility than others. Mine is okay. But what you want to do is go down as far as you can, but don't round your shoulders, okay? So don't do this here. Really bad form, okay? Don't do that, please. Uh, also use this as active recovery in a sense. One more, sit back, squeeze, take it down, up, good job. All right, oh, time for the drag switch. All right, plank position. So you know that muscle here? I have a lot of clients that say, how do I work that area where the bra line is? They want it to be tighter. This type of move, pull downs, pull ups, anything that works, your lat muscles, which is all this right here. 
Yeah, okay, so we, that's not gonna change unless you lift some weights. So if you just do cardio all the time, what's gonna happen is you'll still be thin maybe, but it's still gonna be saggy, and that's not cute, right? No, keep going, keep going. You only have a few more seconds. Keep it going, you guys. Ah, good, all right. Let's go into those, into those bear hops. I know, I laugh at this one because it's, it's my favorite. All right, 50, 40 seconds now, ready? And on the clock, go. Woo, come on, you guys. That's it. What are you doing this for? What's your intention? What's your goal? If you want to achieve it, you have to finish it, but you got to start it, okay? Right. Modification again, here we go. Take it to the side, other side, kick it out, okay? So you don't always have to add the hop, all right? If you get tired, just go into the modification. Just don't quit, please, keep it going. You know you're better than that. All right, we're done with that move, yay. One more for 40 seconds, you guys. Plank, side plank. Here we go, ready? On the clock, let's go. Whew. Remember that range of motion. Let's make that waistline tighter. Whew. Everybody's body is different. Nobody looks the same. There's no cookie cutter. You have to appreciate what you have and make the best of it, you guys. Whew. Love your body, no matter what you are, no matter who you are. You wanna make it more challenging? Up on your hands. I do feel that a little bit more. You're almost there. Last one. Good job. Oh, get some water. Yeah, I think I want some too. But you know what? You did 60, you did 50, you did 40, now you're down to 30. 30 seconds, if you did 60, 50, 40, you think you get, can't do 30? Yeah, maybe you can't talk like I'm talking, but you can do it. All right, you guys, deep breath. Feel those lungs one more time, oxygen. All right, you guys, last 30 seconds. Rock and roll with burpee, first one. Let's just do it, get it done. On the clock. Ready? Go. Now say you're feeling a little dizzy right about now. Okay, take the rock and roll out of it. Go here, because then you're still moving, you're still burning calories, and you're working on getting more fit. Okay? Just don't stop. Breathe. Keep those abs tight. One more. Yes, all right. Number two, grab those dumbbells. Deadlift to surrender. I think this one is active recovery. Maybe you don't, but to me, yeah. Sit back in those heels, ready, on the clock, go. And squeeze. Right leg, up, back, squeeze. Left leg, abs tight. Remember your flexibility? That's fine. Just don't round those shoulders, okay? Keep that chest out. Whew. Good. Whew. You're almost there. A little bit quicker, I like that. Last one. Lunge it down. Yes, okay. Go ahead and set these down. All right, so we had that plank drag. Okay, get into position. Grab the dumbbell. Either one, doesn't matter, same weight. <laughs> All right, ready? On the clock, go. Pull. Pull. Honestly, when I do these at home, well, not necessarily at home, <laughs> at the gym, I'm using 30 pounds because I like to challenge myself. I like being strong because it helps you to burn more calories when you're just sitting around. <sighs> Looking good. Okay, we're done with those. Our favorite. There, kick out, position, clock time, ready, and begin. Hop, hop, kick it out. 
kick it out. Good. Ha. Ha. So that is definitely impact. So it is a lot on the shoulders. So again, don't think that you have to do that. Listen to your body. Just keep moving. Go here if you have to. Okay? That's still tough. A lot of people can't do what you're doing right now. Breathe. Keep it going. We're almost there. Keep it going, you guys. Come on. Come on. Modify if you have to. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. You got this. I know you do. I know you do. Come on. And time. Good. Last one. Yes. This is the last 30 seconds of the workout. Last. Okay, you guys. Plank. Ready? Go. 30 seconds. Keep breathing. Almost time to cool down. Your heart rate should be definitely up. So stay focused. Last one. Oh. oh my God, guess what? You did that. You did high intensity interval training. You did a descending ladder, 60, 40, 30, 60, 50, 40, 30. That was incredible, you guys. I'm really proud of you. And you should be too. Next time, try to have your friends do it with. All right, you ready to cool down? Let's cool down. All right, let's take a nice deep breath. Oh, we need that oxygen. One more time. And exhale. Good. Now open up your stance, because we're gonna get the hamstrings inner, inner part of it. Grab your elbows. If you're not ready to, drop your head. Don't do it yet. Okay? Just hold that for a bit. You should feel that opening up your hamstrings, which is really important if you do those deadlifts. So hamstrings, doing that move may not feel challenging, but I promise you the next day you will probably feel it. All right, let's take it to your left. Try to bring your uh, head as close to your knees as you can. All right, back in the center. Good, this is the best part, huh? And then take it to your other side, to your right. Good. Yeah, this is one of my favorite stretches to do because I like opening up the hips. It's really important because we do a lot of forward motion, so we want to make sure they stay open, all right? So your knee should be above your ankle. Reach up and then tilt it to the side, okay? It's really important that you feel the stretch here. So tilt your pelvis forward a little bit, squeeze your glute. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Nice, you guys. Just hold up for a few more seconds. Nice, good. All right, now we're gonna take your right arm and bring it down towards your right heel. Now, some people in my classes can come all the way down. Unfortunately for me, I, I'm not that flexible, so I'm just gonna reach my elbows close as I can to the floor, okay? I feel that in my inner thighs, my hamstring, Flexibility is really important, you guys, so making sure that you roll out. Um, always do a dynamic type warm-up before you exercise like we did earlier. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Left leg forward, tilt the pelvis, squeeze the glute, arm up, and lean. Good, feel that opening up in your hips. And sit into it a little bit more, keeping that heel down. Good, and release that. Let's face front, have a seat. Go into this little stretch here. And go down into the front. Good job, you guys. Just really think about what you did today. You, you did a lot. You really did. You did way more than if you're just gonna go to the gym get your favorite magazine, and hop on that elliptical. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that sometimes that's all somebody can do, but 
if you know you can do more, always challenge yourself. And when something gets easier, make it harder. Find something to challenge you every day, okay? And release that. Bring your legs in front, inhale up, and exhale. Again, my hamstrings are tight, so this is not always the easiest for me. So if you have a towel or a band or a strap, you can use that to help to get deeper into your, your stretch. Good job. Now don't go eating pizza after this, okay? Because that's just gonna ruin everything. All right, find something healthy. All right, let's finish it here. Let's get those quads. All right, so I'm gonna bring my heel to my glute, squeezing my glute. Grab it with your opposite. And then feel that in your quad all the way up. Really important. Good job, you guys. Keep breathing into that muscle. Keep breathing into that stretch. Oxygen, really important for you. Oxygen is very important. And release, other side. Feels good. And release that. Let's do one more stretch. Hands by your ribs. Inhale, exhale up. So we did a lot of core work today too. I kind of want to go to sleep now. <laughs> Keep those shoulders down. There you guys, just give me a few more seconds. And sit it back. Oh wow, that was a lot, you guys. You did a great job. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, I'm Natalie Eco. That was high intensity interval training and I can't wait to see you again.